another falls comes down into this area. Le Legolas frog eggs. Hey, we found <laughs> we found Legolas frog eggs. Ooh. Black and red frogs. Kind of sinister looking. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to do stuff. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. We're just going to do something. <laughs> I don't have anything real specific planned, but we have a lot of things that we do need to do. Uh, first of all, in the comments, a couple things you guys mentioned to me um, that you can't actually make or produce smart cloth for selling. That price I was looking at was the cost to buy the blueprint, which really sucks. Uh, but that is exactly right. I misread that. So we won't be starting a smart cloth production line, unfortunately. Uh, but it is what it is. Oh, we got my camera this morning. Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, it was suggested to me to put some glass in downstairs, glass walls. But I already did that because you can only put the glass walls on the flat surfaces. I don't think, I don't know of any way to put them in on the curves uh we do have we do have this but this you know because this is a a one piece living compartment um i don't think it's gonna let me replace these corners that would only work if i would have built this um you know as as you know piece by piece uh one thing we could try and do though is we could uh, we could maybe put some glass flooring in. We're going to have to do two layers of it. Uh, oh, well. Hmm, I don't know if that's going to look so good, though, either, to be honest with you. <coughs> it might look okay if we did it. Okay, I got an idea. Why don't we... Well, let's try this. We, we can't put it in the center because the aquarium's just going to completely block it. But what if we... What if we did maybe these side pieces? Oh. Wait, what the hell just happened? Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Pick that one back up. Do the one that's right underneath the ladder. No, it doesn't work because, again, this is a single piece. I guess it considers it a floor, so it won't let me put... Well, that shouldn't matter. But I believe it has to do with the fact that it's a single piece structure. So even that's not going to really work. Okay, well, we tried. <laughs> we tried. Uh, we do need to go back to that Red Falls biome and finish looting that ship. So we could do that today. And uh, let's also run over to our... Uh, food farm and see how the critters are doing over here we have um look at them all so uh larry the leaf tail is growing he just gave us a genetic trait what did he give us he gave us uh, a variant okay and then that's uh i guess that's fred yep fred gave us a, a luminescence thingy and frederica gave us uh, a number three spe oh she gave us a species okay so she gave us a species her her same species yeah because those are the those are the level three species and then um ham the speedster he gave us a skin pattern color nice thanks ham you're getting big buddy look at you all right cool let's go over here and what do we got in this machine? We got those things. So let's put the, uh-oh, food. <laughs> Food's important. We'll grab another one of those. Um, all right, so let's put the skin pattern color. Oh, we already have a skin pattern color in there. Okay. Uh, two, I think, was Larry the Leaf Tail species. Uh, no, that's a variant. Sorry. I don't think... We, I don't know if we want another F Fred and Frederica. I mean, we, we 
in the long one we probably do, but I'd like to get a little more variety going. And there is that other new species that apparently, you know, we're supposed to find somewhere. So we don't need that. We're not going to use the species, but we could put these two in. All right, so that gets gives us a few more of those. And yeah, I don't. Is there anything else we need to do over here right now? I don't think so. Not that I can remember. Let's go back to the main base. Um, let's take a look at to where we're at here. In fact, this should be more, pretty much almost exactly where it was in the last episode when I showed you because I haven't had time to play since then. Um, all right. There, I'm trying to think if there are any other comments that I needed to, to address. Hold on a second. Okay, yeah, there was one other uh, important comment. I mean, all your guys' comments are important, and I do appreciate them all, but I mean, one that I need to address. Um, let's go back to the food farm. Uh, you guys told me to uh, that I need to separate out the... Uh, the silkworms and all those guys, or they're going to clog this up, which does make sense. Uh, the uh, Oh, and the other thing, too, which was very useful, is um, if, I, if I'm setting up, like, uh, you know, one of these items, if I hold down control, I can select multiples at the same time rather than having to do one at a time and then have to go back into the menu and then do one at a time and then have to go back to the menu. So, very useful. Uh, so, thank you for that. Okay, yeah, so we, we got to get um well they should be picking these guys up because we just told it to pick everything up out of there so we just need a storage bin for those things um this thing's <laughs> good god look at that that's terrible um how come oh when the inventory's full gotcha okay um what we could do is we could just send especially the uncommon larva to here because i mean there's just so many of them you know and um, they're very easy to get so let's have this demand uncommon larva or i'm sorry common larva not uncommon I mean, seriously though, uncommon larva is easy to get too. I think I'm gonna set it for for them as well. And if you know, if I get to a point where I have a shortage on those and I'm having trouble getting them, then I will um, I'll, I'll take that back off. Because honestly, I'm not worried about it. Unless we do, you know, unless we do some kind of a production where we need a massive amount of those. Uh, I'm not worried about it. We'll see how it goes. It, it, we, I can turn it back off if it doesn't work. As far as the silkworms go, though, I don't know if I want to throw those away because we can turn those into more cloth and do a mass. I mean, I'm already doing sort of kind of a cloth production. It's not like a dedicated one, but we could do a dedicated one just to keep making more money. So for silkworms, um, I guess we would need to figure out where we were going to do that. Let's go back to... Uh, let's go back to the fusion cell production. We, we have quite a bit of room along this wall. And this is not very far away from, from the animal farm either, so it wouldn't be a super long trip for the drones to make. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, so let, let's set up a storage bin in here to start collecting silkworms. Um, I'm just trying to think here. Yeah, what, what we could do is collect... Maybe put a collection storage for silkworms here and then start building the and the auto crafter over here and then start building the silkworm generator thingies, those uh, these things here. These guys uh, along this wall could even move the ones 
from the main base over here because they they are kind of taking up some space but let's start the process with uh, just having a place for them to to go first of all uh, for the silkworms that is all right so what we need is a t2 locker so two supers and a circuit board Go back to the fusion cell production. And all right, so let's put this. I think we'll put it right here. And we want you to demand silkworms. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just wait till this fills up and then I'll come back and start putting in the the silk machines because I mean it's gonna take a little while to fill it up it's not gonna fill up real super fast okay I think that'll I think that'll fix that uh, do I yeah okay let's go back there for a minute to the food farm got another big payout there uh, let's go this way yeah see he's already coming to get it that's amazing and he, we set up a thing for these, right? And that should just go to the, to the trash bin. Except for I'll, I'll keep that one with me. Um, where did I set that up? Set it up somewhere, didn't I? Did I do that in the other, other base? Didn't, wait a minute, didn't we set up a, a storage specifically for larva? Oh yeah, it's right here, duh. <laughs> it's right here, okay. Nice, we're getting a nice collection of, the, of those. Alrighty, let's see here, what are we going to do next? Let's go, let's go back to the Red Falls biome and finish exploring the ship there and, and the other stuff gonna put a couple things away first okay let's head over to Red Falls ship oh wow this this is trippy looking at nighttime weird man okay hydration's low why can't I pick these up Uh, that's weird. It's not, oh, there we go. Hmm. Wasn't letting me picking them up. It wasn't letting me pick them up. Not picking them up. Pick them up. Okay. Let's see. We did we check this? We didn't. All right. Well, we probably did, but we probably didn't have room for it. So we'll take that apart. That's. Did I put that stuff in there? Because these normally just have microchips in them. I might have put it in there. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a drop chest because this is too much stuff. Or, no, we don't need to make a drop chest. We just go home and put it away. <laughs> That's the beauty of teleporters. Oh, incidentally, I need to set this back to iron. I've got to, oh wait actually I've got to do it silicon let's see um silicon silicon yeah let's let it let's keep it on silicon for now we're gonna get sidetracked for a moment here but we will go back to the ship um I should have done this a long time ago but you know I'm not in a hurry right so I'm not worried about it but we're gonna do it now um I'm gonna actually set up production multiplier fuses um over at the fusion cell uh, production facility because that's what's making us the most money uh, so we need to also make a uh, tier 2 machine optimizer let's pin that I'm gonna need a total of three obsidian and my second overflow chest is already starting to to fill up it's because I still have not 
organized my storage, but it is on the to-do list. I know I tell you guys that every episode, but I still haven't done it yet. It'll get done. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. I know. Let's eat one of those. Um, the other thing is that we pulled a, a species one genetic trait, which is uh, him, the speedster's species. So let's um, let's make another one of him. So Ham's got a mate. So we'll throw that in there. Okay, cool. So we just need a color B, a skin pattern, and a size. Do we have all of that stuff in here? Um, here's size. Let's do a five. We'll make a big ham, the speedster. Here's a color B. And I think was, um, I don't remember what was the other one. Oh, it's a skin pattern. That's skin color, skin pattern. Uh, right here. Oh, wait, sorry. Okay, this is the last creature we'll be able to, to do in this facility, and then we'll have to make another facility. There he is. Look at him. Hi, buddy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Game freeze. He gave us a color A. Nice. He's a nice looking... He's got some nice looking colors. All right, cool. Animal feeder should be... Kept. Hey, you got a new buddy there. Go say hi. <laughs> okay. We might, um, for our next batch of critters, uh, we might put them somewhere else just to kind of spread them out. Except for that Larry the Leaftail does need a mate, so. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll do a Larry. We'll have to, we'll just have to build another one. It's not a big deal. It's a, I don't think they're that expensive. If there's one thing I have an abundance of. It's pretty much everything. <laughs> so we won't worry about that. Okay. Anyway, um, optimizer. Right. Okay. Let's go to fusion cell production. And if we just let's just put this right in the center for now. And does, do we have some kind of a, like production, what the production percentage is? We can see that on things like heaters and drills, but it doesn't seem to be telling us that information in here. So I guess we're just going to have to trust that it works. All right. So we've just boosted this by massive amounts. Oh, they're time dividers. Okay, so we just cut this down to 25% of, or, or we made it 75% faster. That's maybe the better way to say it. How, mm, how does that work though? Because this doesn't, this little ticker here doesn't seem to be going any quicker. Yeah, I, mm, I'm not sure. Insert this fuse in an optimizer speed up generation time for machines that generate items. Production time divider, 25%. Well, this, this little timer here does not appear to be going 75% faster to me. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that's actually speeding things up. Does it uh, make like two in one cycle? Yeah, that's that's odd. Let me know, guys, in the comments, because I'm I'm very curious about that. That seems like it's uh, not doing anything. Oh, actually, here. Why is it that when I drink from a water bottle, I fill my water all the way up, but when I drink from a lake, which is a hundred thousand times larger than a water bottle? Or a million times larger. 
I have to drink three times to fill up. What's up with that? I have questions. I need answers. Anyway, okay. I think yeah, let's go put this color A trait back and then we'll head back to the Red Falls. And hopefully I will only get sidetracked eight more times in this episode. That's reasonable, right? Eight times? Uh, no, that doesn't go in there. It goes in there. And we're off. Should probably turn my light on, huh? This light is so much better than the the earlier game lights. I'm just taking everything because that way I'll have even more work for myself when I have to organize everything. And I'm kind of a loot whore too, so there you go. The one thing it seems like this game gives you just way too much of are flower seeds. I mean, you're constantly getting them all throughout the game from the very beginning up until the end. And it's like... Who would, you know, how, how are you going to ever use all of those? I mean, I, I'm sure you can, but it just seems excessive to me. Yeah, see, did we already look in here? Oh, look at that. The Blasto spacesuit. We already have the Sipto. We don't have the Sypho. Uh, sci nice. Okay, so we will set those in uh, up with some more dummies. But I'm already full, so I'll come back for that stuff. Let's go drop off this next load. Okay. Let's finish this ship out here. Uh, I believe we did everything we could do in this room. And I didn't notice a fusion reactor in this ship, so I don't, th I don't think there are any other doors open. Plus, it's a smaller ship anyways. Okay, we'll grab all of that stuff. We got another Rubiro tree seed. And then we'll grab all of these. I made, uh, I brought stuff to make some more armor stands as well. Okay, so I think we're finished with this ship here. Let's go uh, to our house. And we will set up some more of these guys. Put one in the center. Okay. Now let's take a look at the Blasto suit. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. All right. Um, let's take a look at the Sypho suit. That's just kind of all white. Not impressed. Uh, and then the, we already have. Oh, we already have a Sypho suit. Okay. You know what? Let's do this then. Let's let's put. We have two Blastos. Um, let's put the... Let's put the Blasto on ourself. Yay! He's happy. Okay. And then... Um, we'll put the Abyssal on you. That's what I've been wearing. So th this one's this one's Sipto, right? Yeah. Okay. So I think we have all different representations of the suits now, except for you know the default one, which of course we don't really need that one. If there are more suits, then I mean, I guess we could start line. I don't know how many more different suits there are. If there's a bunch of different more suits. A bunch of different more? What's the matter with my grammar today? Jesus. Um, we could line up more dummies or mannequins or whatever, you know, along these windows too. And just kind of, kind of keep going with them. That's right. We need to do butterflies and fish. Okay. 
Um, let's go back to the Red Falls biome now. Oh, actually, too, I wanna take a look at real quick. Um, we're thirsty. I, I want to take a look at that red forest uh, that we planted and just kind of see how it looks out there in the desert. Um, let's go back to the fusion cell. That's kind of neat looking. <coughs> it's pretty thick in through here. What do you guys, you guys that who, you know, have played this game a lot. What do you think about me coming down here and just putting down a bunch of grass spreaders? Ooh, we could do flower spreaders too, and that would give us a way to get rid of some of those flower seeds. But I mentioned this in the last episode. My concern about doing that is, am I going to completely tax my computer to the max? I mean, is it just going to be too much for the game to process or not? Maybe it's optimized well enough to where it isn't an issue. So let me know your thoughts on that because I kind of, I like our little forest here, but you know, it's got too much sand, uh, on the forest floor. So it's not very realistic. It, it may, you know, maybe for a palm forest, it would be to some extent, but yeah. Anyway, just let me know do you, if you think my computer, I mean, I do have a pretty powerful computer. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys or not, but earlier on, if you've been watching the series all along, you you may remember that I was having some, per well, not performance. I was having stability issues with this game, and I've I've fixed that issue. Um, basically, I, I've got a fourteen nine hundred K processor in a really fast, like too fast for its own damn good Intel processor. Um, and it, it and what was it was doing? It was overheating. It was causing crashes. And what I ended up doing is locking down the cores, um, you know, the the turbo, turbo boost pr uh, process. You know, what it normally will do is it'll adjust the the clock cycle of the cores um, dynamically, and it was it was just killing itself basically. So I locked the cores down in the BIOS of my computer, and then it's been stable ever since. I mean, I haven't had a problem with any game, this game or any other, since I did that. So, uh, I have, you know, fixed that issue. So, but that was not, that wasn't a performance issue anyway. That was a stability issue. So just let me know all that to say, let me know what you think. If kind of, you know, do you think I can put some grass spreaders down there? Um, I, I, I want to keep these ones here because they give us a nice front lawn <laughs> at this base. So I don't want to move these. I would, I would put new ones down and... You know, probably what my guess is, is when the player gets a certain distance away from stuff like that, it probably, you know, tones it down. So it'll, it'll probably be okay. But let me know what you guys think. If you think it'd be okay, then maybe we'll, we'll you know, we'll put some undergrowth in our forest. Here comes our rocket. That's cool. All right, back to the Red Falls ship. Um, I'm going to pick this up now because we have no reason to come back to the ship itself. But maybe we'll put it in a different location. All right. I was told in the comments that there were some frog ponds that I should visit in this biome. And I'm guessing that's probably not this main uh, water area. Whoops. So we'll pick that up. I'm trying to remember where we came in at. Just so I can keep my bearings here. 
we came we came in over by the uh, the Stargate. That's where we we had to use explosives to get in here. Was that? No. Okay. I remember seeing this little pod here. Ooh, look at those waterfalls. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, right. We did go look in here, didn't we? Yeah, I left, I left all that stuff there and said I'd come back for it later. Okay. So, waterfalls. Is this something over here? Uh-uh. All those red vines are cool looking. Hey, golden frog. Right next to a landing gear. <laughs> Is this a thing? It is a thing. A species three trait. We need a species two trait. Ah, for Pete's sake, I'm not gonna have room for all this stuff. Oh, you know what? This is new. I don't. I don't think we have this effigy. Okay, let's take this, 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 and this, and the rest. Of that's just gonna have to stay there. Okay, so we found the golden chest in the Red Falls biome. Uh, let's go here. Another falls comes down into this area. Le Legolas frog eggs. Hey, we found <laughs> we found Legolas frog eggs. Ooh, black and red frogs. Kind of sinister looking. Awesome. Okay. Um. Jeez, man. You know the drill. <laughs> we got too much shit. We'll come back. All right. So we're doubled up on the rockets here. Let's take uh, this rocket out and we'll put the fuse in. There we go. Me likey. Okay, let's pick up the Legolas frog eggs. Um, I'm, we might as well pick this up too and just take it with us. So we came in here from a waterfall. That waterfall. Okay, so that's the direction we came from. Is this a thing? No. More shit that I don't need. Ah. Okay, so this was the entrance. So this is where we first came into the biome. So what I want to do then is, what are these? More Legolas frog eggs. Um, let's kind of stay to the left. And just make sure we didn't miss any areas. So this goes into the section that has the big ship. So we've already been here, obviously. Um, okay, so there's a, I think this, I think we followed this cave down and it came out. Uh, oh, well, all right, where does it come out at? I have two explosives with me. Oh, 
Oh, they got the whole damn thing. Nice. This is amazing here. Okay. Oh, that dead ends. Okay. This comes out. Wait a minute. Didn't we already do this? Could have sworn we came through here the very first time we came into this biome. So why did it make me re-blow up that stuff? That's a dead end. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going along here. We'll just keep staying to the left. We've already done the ship. I think we walked down through there. Uh, wait, did we? Yeah, didn't we come up through here earlier? So easy to get turned around. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> right, okay, so that goes to the, the pod. And then we know that if we keep going around through here, we come out that waterfall that just deposits us back. Let's have some cherry Kool-Aid. Uh, deposits us back into the main chamber there. Or the, not, I, well, not the main chamber, but the first chamber. What I want to do is go this way, because I don't think we went this way. Maybe we did. Oh, that's just where... Okay, that's just where the waterfall comes back out. And then this goes back out to the Stargate. Okay. Neat. I think we did a, a reasonably good job of exploring that biome. I may not have seen everything there is to see in there, but we got the lion's share of it done. So, yay us. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know what you guys think um, in terms of planting some undergrowth in our desert forest and expand and probably expanding it because that would give me a place to get rid of a bunch of these flowers. Plus, it would give us, you know, if we put enough of them down, it'll give us one hell of a a boost to, you know, biomass and plants and all that. I believe we have a couple of empty frog farms over here that I kiped the frogs from. So let's put some legless frog eggs in there. You guys are really are kind of sinister looking. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, Amazon poisonous tree frog or something. Don't pick that sucker up and definitely don't lick him. Um, we'll put you there for now. Uh, we might do a, a display. Well, we already have two frogs on display at the house, I think. So we need more butterflies and fish. That's what we need to, to do. But we will do that in another episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.